this question is by Shiv. He asks, uh, what can be done to counter enculturation? Well, this book is, a, is exactly a response to that. Enculturation is when our people do not understand what is different. When our people are confused and do not understand what is hard, sharp difference, they do not know <coughs> that they are being sold a good a bit of, a bill of goods. That somebody is making it sound like everything is same. So if everything is same, then it doesn't matter whether I'm on this side of the line or that side of the line. The line is, doesn't matter even. So the sameness, which is what enculturation projects, the sameness is what leads to confusion. And it is the job of our spiritual teachers to teach what is our worldview and what it negates with confidence. You cannot have a philosopher or a scientist who is unwilling to refute and negate. You cannot have a mathematician who says, I will not refute a proposition because it's bad manners. You have to be able to take a stand and say that our worldview does not, is not compatible with this particular point in the other worldview. That is it. They can, be, they can continue. We're not forcing anything on them. But we have a certain worldview and there is this difference. We should understand. Our people having failed to do Purvapaksh on the West having and failed to establish what constitutes the core ideas of difference, which is why I'm writing this book, have therefore made us vulnerable to enculturation.